The incremental greetings. Today, I want to share with you some insights about Wozniak, Piotr Wozniak stats from his collection. That is one of his YouTube uh, videos about skin types uh, in Super Memo. But what's interesting is the stats window. And I noticed that the screenshot in the documentation, it is exactly one month before that. So we have April 1st and May 1st next month of the year 2019. Yeah, now it's like three years old, but keep in mind this collection is huge. It started at 1987, just exactly two weeks after I was born. Yeah, that was quite a lot. So my idea of this video is that I will have some comparisons and explain perhaps what is not that obvious and speculate a little how he, his usage could explain uh, these metrics and what we can learn from that. So first, yeah, the period, it will be just one month more. Okay, nothing to worry about. Now, what about the collection size? If we go into total, last month, 727,000, and next month, 729,000. So this collection is huge. Remember, this is three decades of importing, copy pasting, exporting, making resolutions and whatever. So that is a lot. Also remind, that is his main collection. It is not limited to his Superman usage. He has many collections. That is just the main one, assuming it's the largest, but not limited to everything. Even if the collection says all, it could be like knowledge or incremental reading. Then, out of those 700,000, only, quote unquote, only 625,000 are memorized. And then next month, are about 2,000 more. Okay, so everything else, if it's not memorized what it is, it could be just dismissed or pending. But we, what we can see, if we go to the bottom, is that he's almost not using pending queue. Well, it's zero elements, no pending queue whatsoever. And next month, for whatever reason, he has one pending element. So this is just anecdotal. So therefore, I can guarantee that everything that is not memorized, it's dismissed, but it could be dismissed and done with a no. But if, let's, let's divide this by topics and, and items. He has more than half a million topics. That is massive. 519,000. Out of those, 431,000 are memorized. So everything else, the difference, are just dismissed. And I'm assuming most of those will be also applied done. So there are just folders. And what about items? He doesn't have penny items. 2,700. I memorized 2,300 and memorized out of 207,000. So about 3,000 something ish. It's dismissed. For whatever reason, I don't know why. I guess that be because those items are no longer relevant or are not true because the time that has passed has been updated. Now this statement is no longer true, whatever. And he dismiss it because, oh, I don't want to delete it because I want to make a new element, but this is not high priority enough. So I just move on. I will leave that to the next rep. And the next rep doesn't come. And it's just in a limbo. That is my speculation. Next, I'm in the outstanding queue. Massive. Everything is in the thousands. And next month, even grew bigger. The topics, it's twofold. And some outstanding. So, what I can see here is that he doesn't do, Wozniak doesn't finish his outstanding elements. That's, that's for sure. But on top of that, his daily workload is not finished either. That means that everything that comes outstanding new every day is not done. Let's say he has 20 new items outstanding tomorrow, he will do less than 20. So what will happen is that he is incrementally building up the outstanding queue. He is accumulating more items and more items. And I know that he is using auto-postpone. So I don't know his thresholds. I'm assuming he's not using the defaults. But even if he has, he is pushing and postponing something, it is still grow, overgrowing every time. And we know that because, let's see the average workload. It's 17 minutes of recall time. 
that's quite decent. That is the average of three decades. Keep that in mind. And we can see that next month, it's exactly the same thing. The average low workload in just three seconds less. You know that most of the uh, stats that are accumulative uh, overall your collection, what will happen is that since it's that long, to make a meaningful change will take a lot. Let's say that now, for whatever reason, he stops creating new, new items. It will take a while for the average, that is 17.8, to decrease because you are averaging with thousands of days. So keep that in mind. Then the priority protection, it is extremely low. Here, in April, the topics, protect protection, it's none, it's zero. That means that the first topic in his uh, in his pretty collection has become outstanding and has been left outstanding. And next month, it's 0. 0.0004, which is very high, very high priority. Therefore, very low protection. How can I calculate that? Easy. We know how many elements he has, 7,025. Let's do the math. Uh, I did the math here. So we have 100. It is the percentage we have divided by the element quantity. I just rounded all the priority queue. Why? Because everything has a priority. He's not using the pending queue. So anyways, if they are pending, they will have a default priority anyways. So I know that every element in his collection at the time of this backup of this screenshot it's 0. 0.00013 and he has three O's four. So therefore, if I multiply this by four, look at that, I am more already. So you can guarantee that this topic protection, predatory protection, is just the third or fourth element. That's it. Now you may think, oh wow, this is too bad, right? You, should, you will want to have some degree of priority, especially for items. And for items, it is, it is more or less the same thing, just with one less uh, decimal point. So in this case, in May, it is about 40 element in the predatory queue. And in April, that will be 400, 200, something like that. So if they are ver very high priority, why he doesn't have this protected? Well, I have my speculation based on my knowledge and my usage is that when you have something that is very high priority, especially a topic, and you make a close deletion, so you have an item with a starting priority extremely high. And if it's an extract, you have a topic. So if you do an extract with a very high priority topic, the child that you create, the extract, will be also very high. And usually, uh, when I... I do this with a 30, 40 position on my priority queue. It's likely that the new created element topic in this case will become the first one, the priority 0%. And if you don't do that next day or when it becomes outstanding, what will happen is that your priority protection will skyrocket or decrease a lot, depending on how you said. It will go to almost zero. Keep that in mind. Then, what about retention rate? Almost the same one. Within a month has decreased slightly from 92.49 to 47. That may seem like, oh, it's not a big deal, right? It is just the second decimal point of a percentage. But within a month, it is quite a lot. Again, I can speculate that is because he has done some reps, repetitions, of something that has been outstanding for a long time. So it's more likely to be forgotten. And look at, and I can assess that. Why? Because of the measure forgetting index. He has an average forgetting index of 14.66 and last month 14.63. So yet again, he just increased the forgetting index by 0 0.03. Very little. But look at this date. Look at this day. At May 1st, his forgetting index is 36.4%, way above average. In fact, more than twice. So it's more than twofold worse, the average. That's why short term, you could increase a little 
the, uh, the average. But since the average is with so many days, thousands of days, you just move the second decimal of a percentage. But it's a big deal. That is lots of forgetting. What happened that day? I'm assuming he did items that were outstanding for a long, long period of time, has been postponed. So long story short, they have been reviewed way after they should have been reviewed. So it's a given that the forgetting index will increase or the retention will decrease. Nice. The R metric, that's not that useful because this R metric is for this day. So this could widely vary every single day and this is what's happening. Minus 6 and 18, it's massive difference. But this is not useful for every single day. We will want an average, but that is not shown on this window. So that's not useful. So the burden has decreased for topics 758 to 614. Good. But the items have increased 135 to 175, so 20 more every single day. We don't have enough information because of what he's postponing or whatnot, but at least we can see based on the changes, that is a big change with one minus 165. So therefore here, the burden, the change of a burden daily, I can guarantee that is because of the postpones. Then time. That's not, not much relevant. It's, it's every day. That means he has opened Super Memo for more than two hours and just two minutes of repetition time. So it is interesting that in both cases, he has done the screenshot quite at the same time, just after two minutes and something of repetition time. Yeah, but that, that's not meaningful. It just, oh yeah, what an anecdote, good to know, right? Moving on. The other time about the same, slightly more. So in one month, he has increased the hour's time, meaning that he spends more than 10 seconds. Perhaps, I'm assuming that's because he's reviewing some long outstanding items or very long items that require formulation or decision making. I do, I read the question, I recall the answer, but then I thought, is this worth having that in my collection, eight years, 12 years after that, last repetition, or do I exist a priority or do I formulate? So this takes more time. So I'm not, I'm not impressed with that. Then, the other time. Now that may be surprising for you. Look at that. 138 days, 19 hours, and 38 minutes. So just six minutes to 20 hours, that means that it's 38 minutes plus 6. So he spent 1 hour and 4 minutes repetition time within a month. So in an entire month, he has spent only, quote-unquote, only slightly more than an hour of repetition time, of recall time. Usually people will do this daily, especially in Anki or other speed repetition software. That's very little. Then it's okay, this is little time, right? Which has one hour of recall time. Let's see the quantity of repetitions we have actually here. It's close to a million. 937,000. Oh, wow, it's the same one. That is extremely little. Yeah. That's why he is increasing the outstanding Q. Because he's doing an average of 17 items a day. Perhaps he's doing none recently. We don't know. That's the average. But look at that. He's do In this case, he's doing a subset of just 16 elements. But that's impressive how little he's doing, how, how few repetitions he has done in April. So everything is adding up. Very low priority, protection, a long outstanding queue, an increasing outstanding queue, an increasing average time and very low time commitment. Therefore, repetition count as well. Interesting. We didn't know what happened there. Perhaps he had a work, a, I don't know, something else to do that he has decreased the... the um, I, I'm just left, left uh, for speculation. Is that because he 
in that April happened to be a very, very high workload with super memo and everything else, family or whatever, or it is normal. That means that every time he's spending less time just doing repetitions, items, and everything else, it just misleading in the sense that it's not representing his current usage of super memo because we have the absolute average of three decades. So perhaps now he's using super memo, drastically different. The quantity, let's say, of items per day, I can guarantee it is impossible to do that many items because if you do one item per repetition, the maximum quantity, if you don't do anything else than creating items in all repetitions of a month, you will, Wozniak will have created 250 more or less. And this by a month would be an average of 8 points. Assuming the maximum case that he has only done items, he has done any single item review. So he has a, a topic, he does the repetition, creates the closulation, and moving on. That's it. So this is extremely low compared to his average. And I can guarantee that it's not going to be like that because he's using, he will do interleaving. And because the metrics change it, the retention has changed a little and so on. That means he has done items, rep item repetitions. Even if there are just a few, there will be item repetitions done. So guarantee will be less than that. Perhaps I could speculate like sometimes, some days, even none. So it's good to know because this case, it is an extreme outlier you can get. I will do more videos with a user of a collection of 15 years. So it's already half of this collection. So the, and also take in mind that that has been done with many different versions of Super Memo. Therefore, different algorithms. So some part of this collection where there was no incremental reading to begin with, or there were no concepts and many different things, or how the intervals were calculated were different. And long story short, less efficient. So something like the repetition per item, something like that, it's not the same for someone who started with a much older super memo, much new, newer super memo, like 15 onwards. Now, let's continue. Now, the repetitions per item, it's surprisingly low because this is on its lifetime. That means that in all his collection, he has 2,300 items memorized. And he ha and you know, you know that when you have the rep count repetitions overall, that is only for items, not for topics. So let's do the math here. I th now I see that the math is not adding up. So let's let's see that. So if I do the math, how many items he has currently in the collection versus how many reps he has done, I have an average of 0 0.6, almost 0 0.4.7 repetitions per item, yet he has 3.2 almost. Why it is mismatch? Let's speculate again. Perhaps he have done many reps of items he deleted. So the quantity here, not historic. It is now describing what is currently in the collection. That is not true for other stats, such as repetition count. Now he deletes the entire collection and he just has the root, he will have zero items, yet he will still have 937,000 repetitions. This is describing all what you did. This is not describing the actual state of the collection. Also keep that in mind. So there are lots of things we can not know because of this mismatch. We cannot compare apples with oranges, right? So we cannot compare something that is accumulative, regardless of what it is in the collection, versus something that is just considering what is currently in the collection, regardless of what you did before. Oh, you had done items, you, re you wrapped those items, but then you deleted those items. We don't know. We only know the current count, which doesn't match, it's quite, it's quite big. I'm assuming that he is, because it's three decades of usage, so it you will be prone to have items you don't care 
any single bet anymore, like 10 years or 20 years after. For instance, he has items for programming, for languages that are very like Fultron, this kind of thing. It's very old. That it will be technology that you no longer use. So yeah, you will keep this in your collection if you want to keep that as a history of programming, that language. So the concept changes something that is applicable to something that is just history. If you don't want that, you just straight delete that. So with three decades, that is a lot. I think that I have deleted more items myself than Wozniak, even with a third of the time, with about 12 years. So consider this in perspective. Nice. Then the speed is out average, nothing out of the ordinary. Items per year per minute. It's a weird metric. It's very hard to see, to interpret this metric. But yeah, nothing crazy. And look at the average interval. It's nine years. Massive. Absolutely massive. So, long story short, with 3.2 repetitions per item, he has an average nine, nine, nine years interval. Or, as if we do the math different, and we take this as if nothing has been deleted ever, he will have 4.7. It is still impressive with those little reviews. Four reviews. You have an average interval in close to a decade. Almost one month and a half of a decade. Massive. It's very little effort. Massive. And the rotation rate, yeah, it's not 95%, but it's 92. It is quite large. And take this that he has done postponed many times. He's missing so many reps and it's still 92. So this shows how strong incremental reading and a speed repetition is very long term in life. Mesmerizing. Okay, before I, di I did the math of the dismissed and I had this already. So he has 91,000 dismissed elements, which about 3,000, I think, would be items, and the rest will be topics. And I'm assuming that most of that will just be folders. And look at the A factor. The, a, the default A factor for topics is 1.2. The A factor is somewhat similar with the is or isness in Anki. Is you have a number, let's say an interval of, of 10 days, the next one will be 12, because it's the current interval multiplied by the A factor. That is true for items, but it's not as easy as that, because priorities and some other metrics also play a role in the calculation. But long story short is that he's extremely close to the default 1.2. What may be the reasoning behind that? Yes, eh? Look at the totals. How many topics? More than half a million topics. So what may happen is that lots of topics here, first, are already gone. They are just mere folders. So they are not pondering here on the A factor because they no longer have A factor. It's a folder. Second, he has many topics, more than about close to 100,000 or whatever, that he never wrapped. He just imported the article, the topic, and that's it. So, there are many and many topics that have either the default 1.2 or none because they have been dismissed, applied done, which will, which will be uh, just a folder, or they will have become deleted. So, therefore, it makes sense that the average A factor for topics it is extremely close to the default. And in next month, it is exactly the same. And for items, it is also the same, the A factor. Why? Because he has only done 250 repetitions. So it is very unlikely to make a change. Perhaps there's a change, but for whatever reason, here we only have precision of two decimals. In the priority, we have four. So perhaps there's a change in the third or fourth decimal point. Nice. Now, is for a lot? Is an A factor of four? for items large, short, I would say it's quite quite a lot. 
Now remember, this is not as easy as that, especially for items, especially for current super memo algorithms. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, I, I forgot. There are average repetitions per topic, just two repetitions. So that's very low, right? You know that he's doing one action, one repetition, one action. How come he does that low, that few reviews? Well, it's in consonance of the A factor that is very close to the default. That is because a lot, lots of items, sorry, lots of topics cannot increase the quantity of repetitions because they are done already or I dismissed, so they will be in the limbo virtually forever, or they, he just imported that article and that's it. So there's still no single repetition done, manual repetition. He only has the automatic repetition done when he imports splits or extracts uh, that topic. So therefore, it will be nice in this case Instead of using the statistics window to go, let me do in my collection, it will be meaningful to go to the root process branch and have the statistics here. Because we will rule out everything that has been deleted and this kind of thing. And I'm kind of surprised that I have been recording this video for more than 40 minutes already. This will be shorter once it's edited, but wow, I'm surprised with this with just two images, how long I can speak. You know, it's high entropy for me. So uh, I hope you have some value out of this. It's not just, okay, because what happens with the documentation is that it's saying, yeah, this collection has 18, 17 point, and then So it's very descriptive, but there's no interpretation. Why is that? Or it is 17 a lot, then the the documentation will tell you some ranges of the normal, even though there's a lot of missing that, a missing interpretation of those numbers. And I have left some out of that because I consider it's not relevant enough to make this video that is long enough already. And keep in mind, this is one single collection. He has one YouTube collection, one incremental video collection, meaning that is not from YouTube, but local videos and so on. Then one for email, some of them for um, incremental writing, one for images, a photo collection, and some that he's trying for languages or some, some uh, experiments, and some other that now I cannot recall. So he has multiple collections. So look at the size of this, massive. And you may know that he has one article about the limits that the human mind can remember, right? And he speculates 300,000. So he is about two thirds of that. But I wonder how many facts there are for incremental reading. So without the language, because I know he will have about 40,000 items that are just for English. So nothing more to add today and see you next time.